And I came up with a final conclusion, another final conclusion. You know what happened when I come up with a final conclusion. You know what happened with a final conclusion. All right, I came up with another final conclusion. Fast rap is no different from mumble rap. It's the identical. Fast rap is no different than, than mumble rap. Fast rappers rap about the same exact thing mumble rappers rap about. They just rap it fast. They rap about the exact same thing. Cars closed, bitch. Ice on the neck, wrist closed. Cars, cars closed, bitch. Fuck the bitch. Ice on the neck, wrist, cars closed. They rap about the same thing. Nigga don't want to go. But actually, actually, fast rappers rap about less shit. Fast rappers actually rap about nothing. So, a typical nigga will say some shit like, I'm walking to the store. A fast rapper will say some shit like, when a nigga walk, walk, with a walk, with a walk, 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 with a walk to the store, walk, walk. Right? <laughs> a mumble rapper be like, I walk to the store, store, bought me a drink, two drink, walk to the store, walk, walk. Right? <laughs> So regular rapper, regular rapper be like, nigga, nigga walked to the store, bought me a drink. I was thirsty. You feel me? That's a regular rapper. Fast rapper. When a nigga walk, when a walk, walk with the store, with the walk, with two, do drinks with the store, with the walk in, walk in, two, that walk, walk, walk in, walk in. Right. Fast rapper, you ain't going to even, fast rapper is going to take about eight bars just to get to the store. When a nigga walk with that, walk, walk, walk. Right. When a nigga want to walk, got to walk with the walk. A nigga will say, a nigga say, when a nigga wanna walk, gotta walk with the walk, what walk? Eh, yeah, I'll shut that bullshit up. Then the mumble rapper going, nigga, two, two steps, step, step, step. I wanna walk, 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 walk to the store, walk it, walk it, walk to the store, walk, walk, walk. Feel me? But no, like, no, don't, we can't put Twister in that category because Twister actually had content. Twister shit was for the ladies. Bitch be all in that guts, all in that guts. But you feel me? Twister never was really like Twister. Twister actually had lyrics that actually went direct to situations. Twist don't ever put Twister. I'm not talking about the Twisters or the Bone Thugs. They actually had content. Right? We're not talking about Twisters or Bone Thugs. They actually had content. We talking about the lyrical, the actual lyrical fast rapper niggas. Right? The niggas that be talking about mumble rapper, these niggas. Y'all ain't gonna say no names, but I know what I'm talking about. But these niggas, they actually don't be rapping about fucking shit. God damn it. When a nigga wanna walk to the store, gotta walk with the walk with the when with the walk with the walk, walk, walk. Man, shut up. Nigga don't be talking about Nathan. Nah, not nothing. You niggas don't be talking about Nathan. Absolutely Nathan. Sheesh. This shit getting kind of irritating. And these the niggas be like, yeah, we bringing hip hop back. No, you ain't. It's time for hip hop to evolve. Hip hop got to evolve. And it doesn't have to evolve lyrically. It has to evolve content wise. You got all these niggas fighting over who killing hip hop or what's killing hip hop. It ain't the look. It ain't the skill set that's killing hip hop. It's not the way you rap that's killing hip hop. That's not it. It's what you actually rap about. That's what's killing hip hop. It ain't got nothing to do with the actual style. The styles are always going to be the same. I don't I don't mind mumble rap and nigga talking about something. I don't mind like you get what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't the actual Cadence or or the way you project the flow is what y'all niggas talking about, and that's what has to evolve. What is actually being said? You listen to your favorite rapper, rapper, and then you listen to a mumble rapper, and the lyrical content is identical. You listen to your favorite mumble rapper, and you listen to one of some of your favorite rappers, quote unquote, the biggest rappers of the game at the moment, and the fucking content is identical. identical bro so on that note to all the mumble rap niggas and all the quote unquote lyrical miracle niggas 
Niggas just gotta change the content if you wanna up the fucking rap game. It's time for niggas to start rapping about shit that actually matter in the world, bro. That's the only thing that's gonna really change some shit. Other than that, my nigga, you niggas is all a cancer. Alright, so let's get into some other shit. I got like 15 minutes. Alright, let's get into some other shit. The other shit I wanna get into is <clears throat> Jay Z. I see so many black people mad at Jay Z. Oh, Jay Z is a coon. Oh, Jay Z is settling out, settling. Huh? Look, let me tell y'all a few things about Hov, big dog. The Hov, my nigga. I'll tell y'all a few things about Hov. Jay Z said, We're past kneeling. And black people automatically read the title and just went to posting on Facebook. Remember yesterday? Remember, was that yesterday, day before yesterday? Remember yesterday, I just was talking to y'all about how we got destroyed mentally and how the language is a, a whole trap. This is one of the ways that language is, they language has destroyed us, right? This is exactly one way that they language has destroyed us. The way we perceive words and the way we look at words, right? It triggers us in a way to where we emotionally express ourselves before we even look at the overall situation. This is what's happening in the black community. This is the way black people are so easy to turn on people based on when we look at shit and we act out of really even understanding the overall moral of what's being said. So I want y'all to think about this. Kaepernick, clearly not black. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Mix, whatever. He clearly not black. He showed no traits of black people to me. And I don't give a fuck about that bunk ass uh blowed out afro. You not black. And your girlfriend not black neither. Right? <laughs> so bitch, you don't even got nothing to say about the art community. But all right, Kaepernick clearly is not black. Jay Z is clearly black and has been trying to uplift the world forever. He told the world no more auto tunes. Y'all didn't listen. Y'all still did auto tunes. Created a whole new genre. He gave y'all four four four, trying to nigga show y'all the ways to go. Y'all just swept that under the rug. Jay Z been trying to. Jay Z was once the lost nigga, and he woke up. He was once the lost nigga. I we all was. He woke up. He been trying to tell y'all the way. Y'all sweep it all under the rug. Jay Z. Jay married Beyonce, tried to tell y'all to have nice, happy families and all that. You feel me? My nigga, y'all just going the whole other way. So Jay-Z said, all right, well, fuck it then. Yeah, I'm a coon around too then. Y'all ain't listen to a nigga when I do some real shit. But more of the story is, Kaepernick just took a kneel in the ground. And all the black people jumped on his wave. Oh my God, he is a savior. He kneeled for the anthem. <laughs> all right. Jay Z build a whole water facility in Africa, and black people give no fucks. My man kneeled on the ground. There's a documentary. Go watch it. Jay Z in Africa, he built a whole water facility for kids in Africa, so they wouldn't have to walk in twenty miles just to get a cup of water. He built one for. Them. <sighs> Oh, but black people don't give a fuck about that. They don't care. <laughs> Anywho, so black people turned all their backs on the black man for a non-black looking man that took a knee during the song. All right. <sighs> this is why I be telling you there's no hope for our people. But look, let me go deeper than that. All right. <laughs> Jay-Z said that we are past kneeling. We are. Kneeling ain't going to do shit. You, you, you ain't supposed to kneel in the first place. We ain't supposed to me. We ain't supposed to kneel for no nigga. How the fuck we going to stand up for ourselves when niggas on their knees? What? We ain't supposed to kneel for no nigga. We get on our knees and all the white niggas standing there with they weenies close to the back of our head. Y'all ever looked at that picture? You ever looked at the image of all 
of black niggas on their knees and the white niggas weenies just standing up right by their head. All the white, all the white slave owner team masters standing up, shaking their weenies right behind niggas' head while y'all on y'all knees bent over. What type of imagery is this? We supposed to be big black buff kings, and that's what y'all niggas want to do? Go to the ground? All right. Look. On the flip side, all Jay Z is saying is we pass kneeling. Let's take some real action. And only way you could take some real action, you got to get in on this shit. Jay-Z about to get in on this shit, man. Let Jay maneuver his way into the NFL. Kaepernick, you might get your bunk-ass job back. Now, this is where the story is weird. How the fuck you kneeling for something that is completely injustice, but you still want to play football? This the type of shit I be talking to niggas about, bro. How you know this shit fucked up? You know what's really happening. You know what's really happening in the NFL, Cap. But you still want to go on the field and throw the football? <laughs> That's like Harriet Tubman still want to pick cotton. That's like Harriet Tubman run away from the Underground Railroad and get to a fucking other place and be like, well, you know, anybody got some cotton around here? How you still want to play for the... Look. <laughs> My nigga... <laughs> Look, Jay-Z going to maneuver his way up in the shits. And when Jay maneuver his way up in the shits, for all you know, nigga, we going to fuck around have pumps and the bumps as a national anthem. What if Jay get in there, nigga, and welcome to New York? Is Y'all ever thought about that? What if Jay-Z maneuver his way in the NFL and a welcome to New York become the national anthem? You never thought about that? What's good, Flames? Pow! No, fuck with you. But no, what? What if? What if? J, what if Jay? What if Jay get in the NFL and the motherfucker and welcome to New York as the national anthem? Y'all, never, y'all ever thought about that? Niggas would be like, and we're gonna have her sing the national anthem. Shit, come on. Dun, 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 dun. Everybody put their right hand over their heart. You feel me? You got to put the deuce over your heart like a real New York. Where does Bond be? Welcome to New York, New York. You f- My nigga, y'all never thought about that? Damn, let Jay work his magic. Nigga, Jay go have, what's my motherfucking name? Jigga, who in the rolling with all oh, my Jigga. That nigga go have all type of national and. Hey, let Jay get in there first before y'all start bashing my man. Damn. Y'all ain't even let him get in yet. Let him get in. Sheesh. Black people don't want to see nobody win. We only want to see non-black people win. When we see a black nigga trying to do something, we automatically bash a nigga for no reason. Sheesh. Black people be looking to destroy another black person trying to get on. Look at him. He just doing all the good shit, man. We going to try to make him look bad online. Look at all the black people that went at Bill Cosby. Look at all the black people that torture Bill Cosby. Why these same black people ain't uh, uh, pointing out Epstein? Where all the black people at on the Epstein case? I ain't seen no posters about the Epstein. I ain't seen no posters about the whole Weinstein. Yo, what's up with these Steen things? Epstein and Weinstein. Steen like a raper thing, huh? I don't trust that last name. Steen. If your last name got Steen in it, you like a a sex trafficker. I don't trust these Epsteins and Weinsteins and things. They do a freaky. They would have do a freak. But anywho. Oh, speaking of Epstein... Hey, you ever notice when Bill Cosby was getting accused of rape, girls was coming out of nowhere? 
saying all type of shit. Why none of the rape victims have said nothing about this Epstein nigga? I really want to know why none of the rape victims have came out and said nothing. Y'all ever thought about that? Y'all ever thought about that? Huh? Y'all ever thought about none of the... They got eight. <laughs> the fuck you thought these niggas is part of the Pizza Gate? These big old Pizza Gate members. Bitch, ain't nobody coming out to say nothing. They in the nigga belly. They in the nigga belly. See, you got different type of rapers. Bill Cosby, he just slipped a pill in the bitch drug to get some pussy. That's a, you know, black people, we ain't gonna do too much. Bill Cosby, he just slipped a pill in the bitch drink. He wanted to get some ass. You real me? Hey, 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 man, plenty of niggas. Rick Ross did it, too. Remember he apologized? Remember Rick Ross apologized for doing it on the track? Rick, you ain't slick. Um, I gotta put my number in. Uh, hold on real quick, y'all. I can't do this live.